one of the things that have constantly been an issue is customer care. Hi. My interaction with people from different works of life has made me appreciate the saying that a problem shared is a problem halved. Join me every week as I sit with incredible people willing to share their joys and struggles from one point to the next. My story, your story, our life. I want us to talk about the Rwanda situation. So mm-hmm. Rwanda as a country is being marketed as a mm-hmm. mice destination, mm-hmm. but one of the things that have constantly been an issue is customer care. I'm going to pre- I'll read for you a message that I found online. Mm-hmm. Somebody was complaining and it hit me because he's making reference to the other countries in the region. It does not matter how much marketing you do as a person there's sure. if you don't work on from your explanation from this conversation if you don't work on customer care then you're likely to lose out yeah sure you will invest a lot of money in marketing but people will come have a bad experience at your shop your restaurant and they'll never come back yeah, sure. so dr joseph said uh, i'll read it as it is the last week i tried to reach out to a clearing and to clearing and forwarding companies mm. as i needed help clearing my stuff at the airport i called three companies in vain and none of them returned my calls I got one through friends, but he has been waiting for me to call him for updates. He says this is this says so much about the customer care mm-hmm. and service delivery that we choose to offer. Mm-hmm. We need to be up to our game. Mm-hmm. I fear that when the regional integration kicks into force, our East African brothers and sisters will mm-hmm. kick us out of business if service delivery is not improved. Mm-hmm. Having interacted with a lot of people in Rwanda and businesses mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how would you rate us against the other countries in the region uh, the Rwanda situation in this country um, customer customer service or management or customer care customer experience actually I would say we are not yet there okay and it has been in such a way that there are certain institutions there are certain lines of business especially those in service that I have tried that are a step somewhere and then there are those where either by lack of skills lack of knowledge are really doing it the wrong way the reverse they yeah. are doing it in reverse uh, right like that's um, all they know yes it is mm-hmm. uh, as far as service delivery is concerned um, I would blame it on the business owners Mm-hmm. Our investment behavior for the for the f- for the little research we've done because we do market research analysis, so we talk to business owners and you ask this person, why did you start a garments shop? Yeah. And this person is like, I sold my car, I had some five million on me, and I knew a friend who deals in garments. She told me I could easily bring in garments in the country and sell. Yaki, that's a wrong driven investment. You see, most of our businesses here are simply because I had some capital, I invested in a certain sector. And then it's not, most of the businesses that have succeeded are passion driven. Mm-hmm. Yaki, if you've walked into hotels and restaurants where the owner is either a former chef somewhere is uh, a former hotel manager yeah. is a former something like as the cold in the hospital like somebody he, he yes somebody has done something in hotel. hospitality and is doing that business mm. it is very rare that that person will carry on that business wrongly mm. it is very rare that they won't know what to do because they know what is wrong in that business in order for you to be good in a certain service or in a good a certain uh, business you must have been a customer first True. for that thing for example jackie if i am your marketing agent today i have been a marketing manager i've been a director of sales and marketing i know what those people did to me wrong mm-hmm. jack i know where they manipulated me I know how they cheated me. So if I open up a sales and marketing agency, Jackie, if you employ me, I know your pain. Yes. Because you've experienced it. The passion that is driving me Mm. is for you to not experience the wrong that I experienced. I really don't want, I care. I should care about you. There's 
that uh, people have lost the sense of empathy, business owners. That's why they'll open the... the, the, the so if you think it's just about making money? M basically. And yes. as long as a business is driven right the love for, for money for making money for and making it's a living to go wrong. because yes. if you're here and you're looking at your business i need 500,000 from here that's when you're going to lie to customers okay that's when you're not going to be honest about your product that's when I'm going to ask about your product. And you're going to lie. You're going to lie to me about your software. You're going to lie to me about your laptop. All because I want you because to give you me the want, money. Yeah, you need the money. Yes. If you're driven by the need for money. So um, most of our investors in Rwanda should look at why we go into business. Mm. In other words, they should sit down, take some time, consult if you must do, and uh, Invest appropriately. Okay. Yeah, if my love is in fashion industry, that's when I'm going, even when I go to China to ch select clothes, mm. I'm going to bring, I'm not purchase something I wouldn't wear, Jackie. No. I wouldn't Every do that. Every item you pick will be one that you can wear. If I'm picking a shoe, it should be something I would love to wear. <laughs> yes, I'm yes. just going to bring, bring sacks of shoes. I don't <laughs> care if it's looking north or south. Mm -hmm. For as long as you, somebody will come. If, if, if you purchase and you're with this attitude of like, somebody will walk in and like this shoe. Yeah. Like really, if yeah. you don't like that shoe, you're doing yourself, you're doing your business a disfavor first of all. Yeah. You may get them one million today because you've lied, you've manipulated, you've advertised wrongly. Have you mm. ever seen this chicken you see on the advert and you're like, I must walk into this <laughs> restaurant. Yes. But whatever you eat at the end of the day, trust mm. me, you don't want to walk back into that restaurant. Yeah. So for that day, you've gotten the money for that very day but you're not getting that customer again yes. so that's where you know you have in that explanation answered a question that people have always asked why do we have poor customer service mm. i think largely from your explanation it's the fact that the motivation to go into business is always wrong mm -hmm. and so as a business owner if i went in because somebody gave me capital mm -hmm. and i did not do any a research, friend is doing it a friend is doing it even if one of my employees is not good to the customer, I will not notice. You will not care. Because I don't, yes, I won't yes. care. I won't care, I won't notice, because I do not even know what good customer care is. Mm -hmm. I don't know the value of this person coming in, going out and sending and me another back. customer. Yes. yes. Or coming back. Yes, sure. And I think that, that just is clearly what is our biggest we problem. Normally, we normally ignore the customer experience bit. Yeah. Because How did the receptionist yes. make you How feel? How did the reception make me feel? Before you reach the How did the only go representative made me feel if mm. I am doing a contract with you? Uh -huh. For example, you are signing a contract. Mm. How does the HR make your staff feel? Yeah, okay. So the, the customer experience is the entire company. The feeling given to me by the entire company. How do I feel about Randea? They are mm. customer care service, people talk talk well, talk softly, they explain everything, they are sales and marketing departments, they are full away of the product, they explain about the entire product, mm. they are crew on the on the plane are uh, asking me questions, asking if I'm if feeling fe well, yes, if they, they greet me, you. they mm. check on me, if I'm sleeping, they give me a blanket to cover myself, they ask me if the S is too high, the pilot is is doing his job. So, so you at feel the end of the day, from the time you get yes, everybody in the place. company is making me part of the company at wow. the end of the day. So while you were asking how the customer service is in Rwanda, I would like to specifically say there are some people in the service sector who are doing it well. Mm -hmm. uh, like especially there are institutions, RDB. The mm -hmm. Rwanda Development Board, particularly, exceptionally, those people are doing their job well. Yes. The, because customers... considering they're responsible for marketing the entire... The, the entire the Rwanda. Country. Yes, the entire And Rwanda. if I they can just right. by click of my phone, I'll get my certificate, I'll register online, I'll do everything, I'll get everything and online. And that will come real because fast. Because we customers have moved away from queue. We don't want to mm. make queues. I don't want to visit your office. Mm. I want you to find me where it is. That is yeah. the new trend in the market. The market is moving to find me where I am. So even that is customer service? Yes. Customer so they are experience? doing it, find me where I am. <laughs> you give me the experience. I'm feeling you. Um, <laughs> there are other industries that are doing it mm. in the airlines. Rwanda is doing a good job. Mm. Maybe in the hotel, there's Marriott. They're how doing do, a good job. How right, do banks uh, perform? Because huh. there's something that we all complain about. You go into a banking hall, 
and there are a lot of empty, you know, uh, teller mm -hmm. computers. So mm -hmm. it's several teller cubicles or computers. And there's only one. And there's only one mm -hmm. teller. Yes. The queue has 17 people and there's only one person serving us, yet there are three or four unoccupied seats. Mm -hmm. Banks tend to do that a lot. Uh, banks particularly, um, they forget a certain factor that their performance is directly proportional to how they relate with the customer. The performance of banks mm. is directly proportional mm -hmm. to how well you treat the customer. Now, how does that mean? Because a certain bank will think and say, oh, girlfriend, you're lying. Mm. I have a huge portfolio mm. and I'm there and the customer case <laughs> the last thing on my, <laughs> on my I already agenda. have the customers. I have a big loan portfolio. So mm. what will happen is because you've not cared about your people, mm -hmm. um, in my among my experience I did I was a credit supervisor before in the banking sector. Mm -hmm. When you don't care about me, I am that's when I'm going to walk into your bank. I tell you I want a loan. Mm -hmm. And Jack, you're going to how much? 10 million. Oh, what's your income? What's your salary? Mm. 800,000. Let me check out. You do your calculations. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you can get a 10 million. Yes. In how long? Mm -hmm. Three years. And then I come here. Come with your guarantor. Uh -huh. <laughs> then I have a heap of, of, of forms here. Or some like sign here, sign there, sign here, sign there. Mm -hmm. Please, go. the money is on your account. Yes. I have done you the worst disfavor. Oh, you've gotten me my 10 million. How can I you call that not, a disfavor? I have not even found out if you really continue to pay this loan. Oh. I have not found out the sustainability of this loan that I'm giving you. I have not found out, I have not tried to talk to you about whether you're going to invest this money somewhere. Mm -hmm. I have not advised you. You've come for a mortgage. Here you're taking a loan of, 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 uh, that will take you 20 years to pay. Yeah. Clearly your contract is saying five years. Why am I allowing you to sign for that loan, for heaven's sake? Because I have walked to the you. The first thing is I don't me. care about you. What oh, I'm looking okay. at at the end of the year, I want a portfolio of $7 billion onto oh. the account of the bank. So the, yes, your portfolio is going to be big, but it's not sustainable. Oh. That's when you're going to have bad loans. That's when your customers are going to lose their savings. Your customers are not growing. If your customers are not growing financially, yeah. today you may have the hugest portfolio, but five years down the road, it's so gone. Yeah, yeah. So what I think um, the employability, when they are employing the procedure and process, I think should be checked in these institutions that are customer best. Mm. Be sure the person you place in a particular position that is directly customer related, they have quite enough experience. They know what they are doing. If you're putting in place a credit officer whose job is to just grow their portfolio, to count the numbers, to get how many, to have signed in 20 people to get the loans, and they have not cared about the sustainability of this person. And five years down the road, you're doing chamunala yeah. for those houses. People are going to run away from you. That's why I'm telling your portfolio today may not matter five years later. Mm. Because the more we hear your Jackie's bank is doing chamunada for mortgages, mm. for us the customers we are questioning. Yeah. Why is there chamunada so much in Jackie bank enterprises? Mm -hmm. The more chamunadas you do, the more you chamunadas do, you do, mm -hmm. you're losing the more us. Customers you're losing. Some of us are sensitive like, mm mm. So, however much you invest in marketing mm. and tell us about your mortgage loans. I have my hesitation. I'm like, something is wrong with that bank. Yes. Some people were actually mistaken me say that bank is cast. Yeah, because yeah. whoever gets a loan there, a mortgage, it, it has is chamunara. Been chamunara. <laughs> <laughs> There's that aspect of empathy. Mm -hmm. Care about the customer. Don't lie to the customers. Be honest about your product. So they can make if informed I know decisions. That uh, yes, so that you make, they make informed decisions. Mm. If I know that your contract is five years and the mortgage I'm giving is 20 years, I know that for the next 15 years you're either going to struggle with this loan or I'm going to put your house under Chamunala. I know that. And the customer is entitled to that fact. Yeah. 
So let's let's do our due diligence. We want to sell, we want to grow, we want to make money, but let's do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And then among us all that, let's know our product. You're selling mortgages, do you really know the mortgage? Do you really know what it means to give somebody a loan of 20? They are going to service for 20, for 20 years. years. How, how is our lifespan? I am 35 and mm. you're giving me a loan of 20 years. Are you exciting me? Of course, I want to own the, the nice building. I honestly want that. Yeah. You've marketed so well, but the facts behind the mortgage. Talk okay. to me about how much, how long I have in employment. Mm. How is my retirement? How soon is my retirement? Mm. What are the facts about the interest? For 20 years, if you have given 100 million, trust at the end of, 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 of mm. 20 years, mm. I may have brought back a billion to the bank. Yes. But I didn't know that. I don't calculate interest in a bank. True. I simply want the house. Just so do you inform. expect banks to tell their customers how much they will love to give back? Tell me that. If I give you 100 million, mm -hmm. in the end of 20 years, you have brought mm -hmm. back, because each month you're paying a million, mm -hmm. and you're earning 1.5, I have not cared to know whether you're going to give, give birth to other children, mm -mm. because <laughs> the most children you'll give back, you're adding on your expense. So <laughs> you're going to, at the end of the day, you're, not, you're going to get stuck. Mm -hmm. And I know it. Mm -hmm. Trust me. We know what we are doing. I've been a credit officer before. I've been a credit supervisor. Yes. We know the facts. So, so at some point, we need to have empathy. We need to know our product. Some people may do it because they don't know. There's that fact. You mm. employ the wrong people. Yeah. They don't have the right information to mm. tell to the customers. Because there are some banks who have really done it well. Okay. So as we conclude, Justin, you've touched on a lot of things. Mm. Talked about customer care, management, experience. Yes, you've yes. talked about empathy. Mm. We've been enlighten people on how to hire people that they're going to put in the organizations in charge of customers what else should we know like, what is that thing you feel like you have forgotten that should be told to someone who is already in business or contemplating getting into business mm -hmm. and so in future they will treat their customers better mm -hmm. because one customer will bring many other customers sure mm. uh, a lot has been said, but among the important things, it has to do with the business itself. Mm -hmm. uh, let us embrace that the customer is not a commodity to be used to get us somewhere in the financial world. Okay. Let us be kind. A customer is not supposed to be used to make me rich? The customer is supposed to be a conduit through which you achieve certain objective, financial objectives in your life, but it's not supposed to be used. Okay. Used, when you say used, that's when you're going to skip all you're supposed to do in customer care. That's when you're going to lie about your product. That's mm -hmm. when you're not going to care about what your staff do while they are serving your customers. That's when you're not going, when in, in product, your product development, you think of the highly mm. marketable product which does not align well with my interests as a consumer. You want to, my interest, or for example, you're a food, a beverage company, you want, you've heard there's this beer that is really expensive and it's high in content, it is, You've not catered about my health. You've not cared about my health. You're going yeah. to go ahead and produce that. And because I already believe in you, I'll question whatever you bring on the market. Yeah. There, yeah. You're losing the sense of like, but you're kidding me somehow, somewhere. And at the end of the day, you'll be like, I don't call these people here. Yes. They walk into my bar and yeah. they purchase the highest. Because um, while we brand, there is what we call uh, attitude manipulation. The, it's a good, branding mechanism but some of us sometimes we manipulate it yeah. like um, it has a negative connotation uh, yeah, attitude brands are okay like like nike apple there's that thing you feel when you're wearing a nike shoe jackie mm -hmm. there's that thing you just feel it uh -huh. an know adidas you're wearing it it's something you attitude, that's some manipulation attitude. as now, you said now there's somebody who's going to manipulate it mm. and be like jackie there are people who walk into a, a hotel 
and some of somewhere they feel good purchasing the highest commodity on the <laughs> menu. <laughs> they want that. No. <laughs> For whatever reason, while you're telling me, you're going to say, you see, this one comes sizzling, this mm -hmm. one comes when and tomatoes I mean. are here, only here, and like, at the end of the day, you convince me to buy a the plate of 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> you have no empathy, you're, not, you're using me. I don't so. care about you. <laughs> you don't care about <laughs> So me. we should not use our customers. <laughs> don't give the wrong information in order to reach your objective. So I think Thank you very much for coming, Justin. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Evolve. Our hashtag is Evolve. And every single week we will bring you amazing guests. We will tackle topics that you will not find anywhere else. Please hit subscribe so that you do not miss out on our latest editions. Thank you for joining us.